Hey, this is Ryan of Happy Healthy Vegan. Well, as you guys know, I give some running advice on this channel, and I'll give a little bit of cycling advice here too. Yeah, I just got back from a ride, that's why I got this little outfit on. Anyway, flat tires, you know, they, they suck. It sucks getting punctures, and a lot of people don't realize, especially if you're new to cycling, a little bug just flew in front of me there, that there's puncture resistant tires, and I wanted to share with you our experiences with them because they've made cycling way, way more enjoyable now that we're not getting flat tires on the reg. My current bike actually has some really great puncture resistant tires that I've had on it the whole time I've had it since like 2012 maybe 3,000 odd miles not a single puncture so if you're looking for the most gnarly strong tires these are them Victoria Randonneur tires um, they're really heavy tires and there's a lot of rolling resistance so you can't really go that fast without putting out some super high wattage to carry that speed out but what you make up for that is that you'll probably never get a flat in fact I'm showing you here the sidewall is wearing out before the tires so I thought it'd be a good time to replace it. There's a sale at my local bike shop, and I sprung for these Continental Gator Skin tires. Again, a very good puncture resistant tire, but about half the weight, and look, they're more slick on the top, so there's less rolling resistance, and they'll roll faster. They'll spin easier without me having to burn out a ton of watts. And here they are, just got them installed onto the bike. Brand new, beautiful looking tires. And even on Angie's Market Bike, we put on some good puncture resistant tires here. We got, again, Continental brand Tour Rides. We had to order these from our bike shop. It took like three months from Germany. Anyway, they're here and now she's loving it. Before she was getting punctures like every two weeks or so with the stock tires. But now in like two plus years, one puncture the whole time. So she's enjoying this big time. So why doesn't everyone use puncture resistant tires for, huh? It sucks having to stop in the middle of a ride and fix a flat. Well, the trade-off is that these tires, like I said, are usually a little bit heavier and there's more rolling resistance, more friction. So they're not as fast as like, you know, racing slick tires. But anyway, they still perform quite well. So, you know, if you're not a racer, this won't be a big deal for you. Because really, when you think about it, you have to slow down quite a bit to stop and, and fix a flat. Anyway, if you, I went and tested these tires out the first day I got them here uh, on Strava. I went up my favorite climb here in Long Beach, Signal Hill, and uh, I set a PR. Um, so these tires, these new Continental Gator skins kick butt. I guess that less rolling resistance helped me get up the, the hill a lot easier. So yeah, um, what I'm saying is I'm not a great cyclist or anything. I'm saying you still can have fun, you still can go fast, and still get some decent performance having a puncture resistant tire. So that's something I would recommend to you. If you're getting lots of punctures on your tires and you're tired of always having to stop and change them, you just want something that's going to last for the life of the tire, you might want to look into some puncture resistance resistant tires here. So I'll put some links down below to the tires that we've been using and we're not getting any commission or anything like that. We paid full price for these tires. I just want to share with you the joy we found in being able to cycle puncture free relatively. So post your questions and comments down below. What's your favorite tire? What's your favorite puncture resistant tire? Or do you not mind changing flats? Let me know what you think about that. Hit like if you got some out of this video and share it with a friend who's constantly getting flats on their rides. And until next time, we'll get back to vegan stuff, baby. Keep it carved. Baby, keep it carved. I feel